Welcome to Ish I Saw on TikTok. In this series, we look at TikToks and some stitched responses where something very prevalent in dating today is discussed. Then finally, I'll provide my commentary at the end of just me being myself, unfiltered and unadulterated. Hi, I'm Janelle, the relationship coach behind the Successful Invisible. I work with successful, savvy, wonderful, professional black women, single professional black women who are 35 plus and are seeking just better dating options and have no clue where to start. Check out my links below if you're interested in working with me one-on-one or in a group coach setting. The goal of exploring some of these TikToks is to spark discussion and help you to develop more awareness, including self-awareness, in some of the patterns you've either engaged in or allow in your own dating life. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. To all the black men that's saying they going overseas to find a better woman than the black woman, None of them women looking for you. I ain't seen no woman in their country make a video on social media saying, I'm looking for a black man in America. And half y'all don't look all that. And then when you get overseas, you want to prove a point by taking a picture and post it on social media Thinking it's going to make a black woman jealous. Who cares, bro? They who you want. Who cares? Keep black women out of your business. Keep black women out of your mouth, bro. Nobody care about you not dating a black woman. There's always a black man that loves black women somewhere. Black women ain't looking for y'all. You looking for a black woman to do something for you. Ain't nobody in Africa looking for you. South America, Puerto Rico, Russia. They ain't looking for y'all black men. You looking for them. I'm going to get a passport. I don't see no other woman overseas getting a passport to come see y'all. A lot of y'all passport bros. Y'all think y'all done struck gold. And I understand why. And I hear you, your complaints and all that other stuff. You know, um, y'all ain't able to get certain women in the United States because you feel like their price is too high. And I ain't talking about, you know, prostitution. I'm talking about the women in America, they, they are getting to the point where they want more. They tired of settling, settling for the bare minimum. And a lot of men are having a problem with that. They got an issue with a woman deciding, you know what? I'm going to stop being a fool for these men and not getting what I deserve. And a lot of y'all can't handle that. Y'all would rather them still be the way they used to be, just standing by us without us really being accountable for our actions and making sure we value them in the right way. So. Instead of, you know, coming up and, and, and being who we really need to be, manning up, and so on and so forth, y'all done decided to jump ship. And that's cool. If you can't stand the heat, get out the kitchen. But stop getting on camera, talking down on women, if you really happy. It says a lot. If every time you turn your camera on, you can't help but say something negative about black women over here. Um, unless you haven't noticed, black men and black women have always been together in this country, being treated <laughs> very badly by the people that are in control of this country. We ain't never had nobody but each other. We ain't never been able to, to shed our skin and be treated differently. We ain't never had nothing but each other at the end of the day. How can you turn your back on the women 
that have always been here with us. How can you talk down on the women that have always been here for us? If you be honest, if you're honest, look at what's going on, right? So many women, they feel like they got to take matters into their own hands now, right? They feel like, okay, I got to I gotta be the one to, to, to change my family tree and I got to be the one to, to, to turn the legacy of my family around. Why? Because there's been so many trash men not doing what they supposed to do. They, you, and, and now you complaining about the quality of the woman. Well, we supposed to be the leaders. That ain't something that's new. We've been supposed to be the leaders. We supposed to been trying to make a way to provide and, and, and steer our families in the right direction since the beginning. That's how it's always been. So if things is out of control, who let it get out of control? If you got a problem with the way women are in 2023, Look at the quality of the men. Day or two or do you? No, no. So you go the same day? Yes. That's all I need to know. Get your passport. It's not weird to y'all. Like, bro went to a whole nother country to get some play. Like, don't you find that suspicious? Hey, listen. These men get up on panels all day and talk crazy about black women. Y'all don't find that disturbing, bro? Hey, listen, I don't agree with some of the moves that these these women are making. You know what I mean? Something in the some of them, a very small minority of women, because the way they speaking about black women is as if black, all these black women is out here moving like sexy red. Like, like how the the dude the, the passport bro the other night said eighty five percent of black women act like sexy red meaning only 15 15 percent of black women is average but yet they get on here and worship a european woman and he had the nerve to say that majority of european women a korean woman and uh latin women are are, are wives as if everybody don't know who runs the porn industry what demographic of women want runs the porn industry as if we don't know soon as you get off the plane at in Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, and, and Korea and all them, all these women and so a, lot, a lot a lot of them trans, a lot of them passport bros is over there sleeping with trans because these th th those women be looking like I mean those men be looking like women. You see what I'm saying? As if we don't as if we don't know that majority of these women who's on OnlyFans and, and Playboy and doing all this stuff isn't other demographics of women. But yet these same men are putting those women on the pedestal stool and demonizing their women for doing the same thing that those other women are doing that's why i said these passport bros are clowns and then they get on the internet trying to humble women but then when a man step up like me they they they, they, they don't they can't tangle with me they can't tangle with me they, they they rather bully women they really they rather bully their weaker vessel because they know they can lord over them every time and then you got men talking about i'm gonna stay out of this what what Black women is the only women that ain't covered in society. Black men is talking crazy about black women, and you got black mothers and sisters and daughters, bro. You, you got other cultures of women talking down on black women. You got the government talking down on black, doing bad stuff to black women. Our sisters is the only one that's not covered. Well, guess what? They got covering now. Because me and my homies really stand 10 toes down on what we do. Because y'all weak, timid, and frail. Y'all just like the, the ancestors when they was raping our raping our women and I mean raping our women and, and doing all these crazy things for our women. Y'all was sitting back idle watching these men doing that. Do that stuff. I ain't gonna do it. I'm not turning with the AR. My my reputation exceeds itself. Real rat. Real rat. Y'all dudes is cowards. You black dudes is cowards, bro. And I stand on this. I'ma live on this and I'ma go home and be with the Lord on this. Y'all cowards. Y'all want to tell you something, bro. And this is a little more of a passionate subject but because um, it triggered me with one of my fellow um, TikTok friends was talking about passport bros from a feminine perspective. And I've been on a passport bros trip. I'm not a passport bro at all. Like, um, passport bros make me laugh, if I'm being honest with you. Because 
You got these men that are flexing about these beautiful women that they can't obtain in America and they're going across the sea to get these women that are used to making three and four hundred dollars a month and you're paying them money to be wives, bro. You know what I'm saying? And here's the one thing I have a problem with with the passport bros. They said there ain't no wives in America. How many women have you actually helped flow in their feminine? Do you even know how? It is an acquired skill that I have learned and I can teach it. Probably will. You feel me? And it's like you men talking about you want wives and don't even know the definition of one. You think a lot of you men think a wife is some pretty girl that comes, cooks, cleans and serves you and don't challenge you. And you just ride off in the sunset and she suffers in silence because let's just be honest. Most men can't even satisfy their woman intellectually, mentally, spiritually and especially physically because you haven't done the work. You know what I'm saying? You haven't done the work to prepare yourself to be a man, to be a king. So you want to go outside the country because you skip the steps as a man to level yourself up to be a real leader in your house. So you want to go somewhere where somebody's used to making 400 a month and take your little three, four, five, six, seven, eight grand a month that you make and throw her a thousand dollars and now she your wife and now you flexing on your homeboys because you don't have access to those types. I have access to beautiful women no matter where I go. It don't matter if I go to Belize, Africa, Dallas, Houston. You know what I'm saying? Some men just got it like that. And a lot of things, what I see is a lot of these men that be leaving and going outside the country, they don't have access to beautiful women and they don't know how to treat women. So you got to go somewhere else where it's a whole another culture and then say, I found me a wife. You know what I'm saying? But none of you men know how to help these women flow on their feminine. You haven't learned the skill. You know what I'm talking about? So it makes me laugh when y'all be like, these women in America ain't why. It's a lot of good women in America, bro. It's a lot of good women. Black women, white women, Asian women, green women. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, it's a lot of good women out here, bro. And y'all be making excuses because you really want to go get your rocks off with a chick that you ain't never had access to in America. And you go over there to Colombia and $1 is $1,000. And now you feel like you want some shit, but it's really a fantasy, bro. You know what I'm saying? I've done the trip before, but I'm a, I'm a man that has access to women no matter where I go. So it's not a big deal to me. It'd be a big deal to men that don't get beautiful women, bro. It'd be a big deal to men that can't have access to the pretty girl. And all y'all just see is a beautiful face. Y'all don't care about the heart. Y'all don't care about the intent. Y'all don't pray for them. Y'all don't cover them. Y'all probably ain't even smashing right. You know what I'm saying? So like, it's just funny to me how you got all these men in this passport broke community talking about, oh, I'm, uh, I'm leaving the country to find me. Or and I'm like, bro, you can't even keep it. You can't even make it work with the women you got now. You know what I'm talking about? And if the women is really with you overseas, it's because your bag right, bro. That's it. That's the post. Me and my boy, you feel me? We fresh off the plane, man. Oh, we yeah, just yeah, came yeah, from yeah. Colombia, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Medellin and Cartagena, we out there fucking around. I wanted to touch on that passport, bro, shit, because that's been a big movement the past Jeez, three, like, four, yeah, three, man, four, a couple yeah, yeah, years, yeah, yeah. you feel me? With, with people saying, you know, fuck American women, go here, uh, passport, bro, get your passport, it's all green. Man, listen, I went and seen what it was firsthand, okay. you feel me? He might got a different take. It might have just been the area we was in, but the area I was in, I didn't see nobody looking for no wives. Like, you huh? feel me? Like, all that, yeah, go find a wife and this and that. Nah, man, they hoeing 100 miles a minute. <laughs> they hoeing 1,000 miles a minute. That's I'm talking, what I was they a great, bro. You be walking with your girl. And they going to walk be up, on you. grab your dick. Hey, hola, poppy. Damn. Slap so your like ass. That. And they making eye contact. Like, they following you. As you walking like hard, so it's for real. I seen I seen a white dude uh, on TikTok say, uh, "Passport bros have been around that that black man. We're coming out there and we're messing it up." You seen that? You that seen might, that? Shit? That might party. <laughs> that that <laughs> might party that be true. I'm telling yeah. you, that's a. F I, I'm gonna say that's a fact, bro. <laughs> because you see, like the old, you see a couple old men. You uh -huh. like, okay? They been doing this, they, they, but they, now they, you they see seasoned. young niggas like us. Yeah. flooded out there. So yeah. I think we did oversaturate the market and fuck the game up to where. <laughs> Now the girls is more so turning into damn near predators. They, they and they, and they, they thinking their value is going up. When they, they, when that's they, what when I mean. Say, yeah. yeah, so they 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 understand that some of these niggas is coming out there and and, and is making it worse. But yeah. like you said, they are aggressive. They they flocking by the dozens. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I have some footage on God. I gave, I'll show you after the show. But bro, I'm telling you because I think before so. Social media, it was just like a word of mouth thing, like Type, but yeah. between the upper, the up and ups, the guys that been catching business flights and shit like that, yeah. to where the girls more so was like happy 
for you to come. I mean, they still happy, but like he said, they know their value is up. Cause like, wait a minute, they know why you here. They know why you here. They know yeah. why you yeah. here. The prices went up, yeah. like everything went up. So I think them dudes, that's why they're saying, like, you mean they <laughs> fucking it up. It's true, but I've seen it though firsthand. It's and I think crazy. I think too, you know, white dudes, you know, any any dudes that are out there, I think everybody knows that. You know, people from other countries have a fascination with black people in general, for sure. Like, they want to take pictures with you. They'll do, That's you know, they, they're they amazed by your skin and, you know, how you look, all that. You So I think that, too, that kills you. You go out there, you know, they're not going for, for, for Tommy or whatever, for Thomas. They done with that. They probably take, you know what I mean? They probably take a little less money, too. You think I'm going to fuck with this 70-year-old nigga over this nigga right here? Nah. Look, man, they I want the blacks. I'm a, <laughs> they they, 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 they want it. the blacks, and I'm going to tell you this. Everything ain't all green. <laughs> so, that's another story I'm going to say for us in the future. It's, 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 Do it's, it's, not it's, think they like yeah, you for you, yeah, nigga. Yeah, they exactly. coming for your pocket. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My question to you is, when are you going to learn about my culture? I'll give you an example. You call me fat and ugly in front of people. Asshole. What? I say you are ugly, you are very bad. You really said that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. In my culture, in America, that's rude, that's disrespectful, especially when a woman says that about the man that she's with. Ah, oh, really? Yeah. I don't know. Sometimes um, uh, I get in with um, my kid, uh, my friend, or oh, you are play, you ding ding kong kong. And we, in Vietnam, my culture is uh, not far um, rude. But I don't know how is your country. And now it, you it, 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 we, we could make, like, if we're alone and we're around family, we could make the jokes like that to each other. But in front of strangers, I'm a guest here. I am, I am, I seen one other person of my skin complexion here in the whole time I've been here. You're not accustomed to us. So when you say it, it sounds like it's a, it's an attack because we're not light or whatever it may be. I'm already a spectacle. I'm a black man in this country and they're already looking at me differently because I'm six foot four. I am dark. And when you say, oh, he's ugly, you start feeding the stereotype that if you're light skin black you're prettier versus dark skin black it's very uh, hurtful and disrespectful people are already looking at me how am i supposed to feel when you talk in your language and then you go i say to her you are ugly i don't have any context i don't know what you're talking about i don't know it's a joke it sounds like it's a fact to you But, but I, I, I was a valuable lesson because Obi told me that I was supposed, I should have asked her to take the drink first, take that shot first, and I didn't take the shot first. They drugged me, they called the third girl, they had to call the third girl. And she came, and she came in with that bag, and they opened the door for her. You see what I'm trying to say? So it's like the, like, basically I'm knocked out drugged, sleeping, and the girls are just going through my apartment. I just saw a tweet of a man encouraging other men to go overseas to find wives because it's too difficult to find one in America. And what I found mind boggling about the tweet is that there's still countries today where men have to have land in order to get a wife. A man has to prove to a woman's family he has land, a house, assets, he's financially stable to even get a chance at marriage, a chance at the woman. And then in our country, women tell men, oh, hey, can you maybe not text me at 10.30 p.m. on a Tuesday night to come over? Can you plan a date with me? Can you maybe bring flowers on the first date? Can you court me? And the men go, this is too much. We're going over. Overseas. We're going overseas. You know what, sir? Good luck finding a woman overseas who's going to come back to this country and work to help pay your one bedroom rent. Good luck. Because guess what? The women overseas, they want full providers and usually green cards. Good for them. They might not even like, like you. They just want a green card and they want you to provide. Go off, sis. In our country, which by the way is the melting pot of the world, you can find anyone and everything here. It's a country of over 150 million women and you can't find one. The women here, some of them work. They don't even want full providers. They just want you to be nice. 
kind, thoughtful, put in a little bit of effort. If that's too much for you, if you're unable to find your girl in this country with over 150 million women, maybe you're the problem. But do you think more passport bros are facing more rejection or is that like the new thing that's going to take over? Yes. Hooping will get you in, but it won't keep you. And if you guys know about hooping, that's the style of preaching that we use in the black church. It'll get you in, but it can't keep you. And what a lot of guys don't understand is being an American citizen and being good looking at it to get you in. But unfortunately, it can't keep you because you can have all the money in the world and whatever, but you can easily come off disrespectful because you are, you're an American, you're an African or whatever. So you can defend somebody very easily here and a girl won't talk to you no more. So I think they're facing more rejection because they just don't understand cultural issues. I couldn't be a passport, bro. I love being black too much. I can't see myself assimilating to somebody else's culture just because I like the women. Like, I'm noticing a lot of these dudes that become passport bros, you start seeing them acting like, dressing like, and pretty much looking like these other people's cultures. But I like being black too much. That's why I, can, I only can be with black women. I like being black way too much. Now, I can't stand some of these Negroes sometimes. I can't stand Negroes sometimes. Y'all get on my nerves a lot of times. But for culture-wise, I love being, I love being, I can, I, I can assimilate to another person's culture just because I like the women. That's just me. That's just me. Let me just start by saying that this Passport Bro series is one of the most entertaining and ironic series that I've ever witnessed play out on this app. Roll a clip. A lot of people in Brazil are misinterpreting uh, the things that I'm saying in English and they don't really know how to speak English that well and they they're misinterpreting a lot of things because I don't say anything negative about Brazilians so it's that's why it's so shocking to me to have this going on at first this is very heartbreaking to me the fact that uh, it was always my dream to live in Brazil and my YouTube channel was centered around me showing other men not just the women but just if you if you guys understand English and you watch my videos, you see me talk about how I enjoy just, first of all, we can start with just the drinks and how. I'm gonna stop him right there because we all know why he went to Brazil. But before we get into why Brazilians want all the smoke with this man, let's hear from the Passport Bro spoke person. Yeah. And to say that feminism is worldwide. And this nice young lady here, Stephanie, has accused this man of sexual tourism and his videos have never ever ever promoted this now let's get into the statement that was made that caused brazilians to not want him in their country the same statement that buddy just said he has never ever ever roller clip now if you remember at the beginning of this clip he said he thinks it was an issue because they don't understand english and they may have misinterpreted what he said how could they be mad if they didn't understand what you said how could they be upset if they didn't understand the words that were coming out of your mouth now that's on top of the fact that there are many brazilians who speak english in fact fluent English. So not only did you insult their women, but you tried to play with their intelligence. And now you're heartbroken because they're holding you accountable. <laughs> now I think this is a good time to start exploring that the issue may not be the women in your country of origin. Might not be the women. I don't know. I don't know. But I don't want to discourage y'all from making this content because it is entertaining. You know what I'm saying? It's giving very much soap opera stories telenovela like we want it yeah when being a passport bro goes wrong so this young man basically could not stand american women he didn't care about their race their religious belief or how they was brought up he felt like all american women were the same so him and a couple of friends always went to other countries just to be with other women now they went to the countries where a lot of women would praise american men i mean these men would love it all they had to do was show that they american and these women would go crazy for them but one day him and his friends planned another trip they went to a club out there he met this beautiful drop dead gorgeous woman in the club 
He felt like even if you can create a woman in your head, she wouldn't be this perfect. So they dance and they having fun. She vibing, he vibing. The night is going great. He took her back to the place that they were staying and they went at it like wild animals for hours. So when he woke up, the girl was not in the bed. He didn't have any clothes around him. His cell phone and his wallet was gone. So he gets up out the bed looking for his wallet, his phone, and his clothes. He literally could not find it. So he walks out the room with just the sheets on. When he walks out the room, he is in complete shock. He's thinking to himself, what the heck is going on right now? The girl that he met at the club with told him to sit down. He was surprised that it was a whole bunch of food made for him. He was so impressed by how everything looked that this man thought he was in a restaurant damn near. So he says, uh, where's my stuff at? The girl says, I have your phone and wallet in the bathroom. And I actually got an outfit for you if you didn't mind. As he's hearing all this, this man is like, yo, I think she might be the one. So in a confused way, he says, oh, thank you. I appreciate that. And walks to go pull out the chair and sit down to taste the food. Once he tastes the food, the food is magnificent. This man feel like he found his wife. She says, how do you like the food? He said, it's great, but why are you doing this for me? She said, no, I do this every morning. Now he thinking to himself, yo, she fine. She know how to cook. She say she do this every morning. Yo, this is going to be my wife. So they go out and they have fun. And this man feel like he want to be very serious with this woman. He never had a woman do this for him. Like every time they go somewhere, she like massaging him, rubbing on him, being very submissive, looking at him in certain ways. And this man, is, he just can't take it. So fast forward, it's time for him to go home. This man actually want to give up everything he got at home just to stay with this woman. So he tells her, I'm coming back to this country and I'm going to marry you. She says, are you serious? He says, yes, I promise you, you have my word. I'm going to marry you. He flies home, stays there for a couple of months, figured out everything they needed to do to get her over to this country. Once he got everything figured out, he flew back to go get her. Once he got there, he met her family. And that same night he proposed. Her family freaked out out of excitement and joy. They literally had tears in their eyes. Her father shakes his hand and says, yes, a good, strong American man. Everything seems to go well. So they fly back to the States. Fast forward, everything is perfect. They get married. She has two kids for him. He is financially stable. She's not working and he wants that because she can take care of the kids. He gets on social media telling the world how he has the greatest wife in the world and how he's happy that she is not from America. Like he literally rubs it in everybody's face. So three years ago, he gets off work from a long day. So when he walks in the house, it's a lot of stuff that's missing. So he gets to looking around and saying what the heck is going on and then calls his wife. When his wife picks up the phone, he says, hey, like, where's all the stuff at? She said, well, baby, go in the kitchen and look on the counter. Then he says, okay, but what that have to do with everything that's missing? She said, baby, I'll explain it to you once you go in the kitchen. Now he sees the envelope and he's thinking, oh my gosh, this might be what I think it is. So he gets to smile and he's laughing. He said, baby, is this what I think it is? She says, go and open it. He jumps up out of pure excitement, grabs the envelope and opens it. With a smile on his face, his eyes buck and his mouth drops. Now his heart is beating fast and he asks, what is this? She says, those are the divorce papers. I'm divorcing you now. But then he says, wait, 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 I love you. Please tell me what I did wrong. She starts crying and says, baby, I am so sorry. I didn't want to be with you. I just wanted to come to America. So then he says, so you, you mean to tell me you had my kids, you got married just because you wanted to come to America? She said, well, I got my green card now and you will have to pay me every month for child support. And I also talked to a lawyer about alimony and that's looking good for me too. So he calls his father and tells his father the bad news. So then he tells his dad, see dad, I thought since she was from a different country, 
she would do right by me. His dad says, it ain't about the country she from. It's about the morals she has. Type story time if y'all want more stories like this. And let me know what y'all think in the comments. Make sure y'all follow for more content like this. Here's my here's my opinion on, on the passport, bro. It's like it's all fun and jokes, right? We can joke about it, like aha, guys going overseas, whatever cases, right? But in the end, it's like, bro, it's just it's, a, like, it's just a, a, a scarcity mentality to have. I'm just gonna leave America because these girls don't respect me. No, you don't respect yourself. That's right? weak. You it's know what I'm saying? You don't respect yourself. Hurt, either either you're gonna boss up and and make a girl respect you, or or, or she's not, bro. That's true. Just because you go into Mexico or or Africa or DR, women there are still going to be women. Yeah. Right. So it doesn't it doesn't you know matter whether you're here or somewhere else, bro. If you're not doing what it takes to be a man, she's not going to respect you. You know. I think that. And you know what's crazy? Most of the girls out here that are you know that are aware of the passport bros, they don't give a. F yeah, they don't. Like give they're that not shit. looking for those guys anyway, bro. Because the guys that they chasing, they ain't going overseas to find women. Like oh, they, no. here. Yeah, they here, and that's a small percentage of men that they're going for. So. If you want to go overseas to find a girl, go ahead. They don't give a fuck. Yeah. Let's jump into my favorite part of all of the content I post on YouTube. And that's just my thoughts where I get to kind of express what I feel about whatever we have read or gone over. So let's get into it. All right, let's start from the top by refining this term that you've probably heard on social media in the past several months or within the past year at least and that is passport bro so according to urban dictionary the passport bros are men who have chosen to seek out foreign women typically from other countries for relationships they believe that western women uh, i.e women in the u.s canada etc have been influenced by cultural and societal pressures to behave in a certain way often termed not feminine enough, and that by seeking out foreign women who hold more traditional values, they can find a more authentic, fulfilling, and harmonious relationship. This is seen as a way to restore the natural balance between masculine and feminine energy and to avoid the wickedness, air quotes, of Western women. So that's the definition of it. But we know from seeing the Gentlemen who usually partake in this behavior, it all has to do with their spending power and men going to countries where the currency of their money, i.e. the U.S. dollar, is stronger than the currency of the place they're traveling to, i.e. Thailand or um, other what would be considered third world countries who have a much weaker currency. And these men often tend to you know, engage in um, sexual activities, let's be honest, with these ladies in foreign lands. So there's a lot of concerns about, you know, just recapping on some of the TikToks, passport bros are objectifying women, women in these other cultures, and they're almost making them like a caricature of what they think the culture represents and not actually understanding much about the culture. There's risks of being you know, drugged and robbed when traveling abroad, there have been, I think this was a couple months ago. I think there have been like eight or so um, disappearances and or unalivings or murders of men, Western men. So I think there was one from Canada, a few from the U.S., etc., who had flown down to uh, passport bro countries. Colombia is another very popular one, Brazil, etc. And they didn't make it out of there alive a passport bros have to understand these women aren't dumb and they understand why the men are traveling down there because basically it's it's <laughs> prostitution on a budget they can afford because let's be honest the u.s has 330 million people in it and it i'm very hard pressed to believe that men cannot find an adult woman who is consenting to have sex with them in a manner that they can afford it because there are sex workers here and there are even places where sex work is legal but they do not want to pay the cost of it here versus you know paying a lot cheaper of a price because u.s currency is stronger than the currency of the country that, that they're traveling to and it's really it's really like 
kind of balling on a budget, basically, but in the most kind of insidious of ways, because these men don't want to, they say, oh, we're going to find a wife, somebody traditional. And that's a total lie. They are going to buy prostitutes, you know, and <laughs> this was, I think this was last year. There was a video that went viral that kind of made the passport bros look bad. And there was a guy that I guess flew to the DR and he was, um, you know, purchased the services of a young lady for several days. And then he didn't even have a hundred dollars to change his flight back on Spirit Airlines back to the States. And he was staying in a hostel. You could tell he didn't have enough money to be down there to even engage in the activities. And he was like calling her um, and she wouldn't pick up. And then he was like on his live, I want to say it was TikTok or Instagram, you know, begging his followers for money. It was very embarrassing, but it was, it, it highlighted a very sad trend. These men are going to other cultures to learn things and appreciate the culture and, you know, maybe even date air quotes while they're there. They are going specifically to use and exploit women. Because if you notice in many of these passport bro countries, women who travel there, well, the countries where passport bros are popular, where they are popular destinations, not the men are actually popular. Women don't have these type of negative interactions because we're not going there for, um, you know, to hire sex workers. If a woman has a sexual relationship with a man, it can happen. But the dynamics are also different as well. It's not, you know, a woman going down there hunting for somebody and targeting somebody and looking to exploit someone. So there's a lot of risks also of being scammed. I believe it was, I think it was Brazil also put out a travel advisory warning men about getting on dating apps down there. Because once again, these women are not dumb. They are going there. Um, they are, understand the men that are coming there, I'm sorry, are there to purchase sex services and they are treating the men accordingly. And many times these women work with local gangs or they have a crime ring and they are setting up the passport bros, drugging the passport bros, at minimum just robbing them. You know, worst case scenario, those men, you know, are found dead. And if you are an American um, and you've traveled to one of these countries to basically partake of sex tourism, it, it's going to be very hard pressed for your family to get answers about what happened to you because you went down there and you went looking for trouble. And a lot of these men pay the price. So it's like, be very cognizant and cautious, ladies, when you hear any man talk about his traveling, ask him what he's done. You know, ask him why he's there. Ask him what he learned there. What did he enjoy there? Did he go sightseeing? Did he try the cuisine? Because you want to make sure he's not a passport, bro, because it's not so much the deal, you know, purchasing the service of sex workers. It's more about the mindset of a man who is traveling to foreign countries in order to engage in that behavior. And that, that presents some red flags in and of itself. Uh, more about that in part two. But let me know your thoughts below. If you've heard of Passport Bros, if you've ever, you know, interacted with them, it happens a lot online, especially places like Reddit. Uh, and and you, what are your thoughts on it? Thank you for joining me today for this episode of Ish I Saw on TikTok, Passport Bros, part one of two. Watch this video again and take some notes. Reflect on current and former romantic situations and maybe some of the activities of the men you've dealt with. Did you date a passport, bro? <laughs> Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you're interested in working with me one-on-one, -on -one, check out the links below. Also, check out my podcast, The Successful Invisible, next season, publishing soon, on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Until next time, this is your relationship coach, Jane L, signing off.